Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rins Kadauna and this is my art channel. Today I will be working on this round panel. It's a 20 by 20 inch and I was looking at these paintings behind me and thought this is gonna be an amazing color palette for a botanical Dutch pour. Also interesting to do it on a round panel as well. So I mixed a yellow, an orange, a violet red, but also a paint gray because I think that will be perfect for the contrast. And of course, not to forget my gold. So let's get started. So today I'm working on this panel and I want to gesso it first. So prime this panel first so the paint can really stick to it. And I love if the sides still have the wooden look. So I will tape off the sides and then start priming this panel. All right, so now that is done. I'm using Winter and Newton Galleria Gesso. And if you have seen my last videos, we have a store, rinskadauna.com. And <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, okay. So what is Gesso? Gesso is really chalk and it gives a grain, a texture to the canvas so your paint can really stick, take a little scoop. That maybe just a bit more, and I will just start rolling this. And I really like to have a very thin layer because I don't want it too textured, really. If you want to learn more about Gesso, I wrote an article, and of course, it's for sale on my website, rinskadauna.com. So let's get started with the painting now, shall we? Okay, so I already put a white base on this panel um, and I can already start with my paints. I don't have them in mixing bottles today. Might have been a good idea to, to do that, but uh, this will work probably too. A bit more. Let's go just here. Yeah, let's do this. I think um, this will work out. So there was a yellow and this is an orange. Then let's go with the violet red. Then the paint's gray, but not too much because the paint's gray can really make green with the yellow and the orange. Um, I think that's okay, but not too much. So perfect for contrast and then the gold you know these colors together like this they look amazing that does look beautiful okay let's start blowing this out This is screaming fire, doesn't it? So cool. So cool. Well, I think I love these colors. It's gorgeous. So vibrant. So blowing that further was a good decision, but I'm going to tweak this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna tweak this. It will be interesting. Where to start? Where to start? Um, and then let's start here. 
Have you tried Botanical Dutch Pour? It's so much fun. It's so much fun. So I'm just literally dragging my finger through the paint, through the base paint. And it's looking lovely here. Okay, so the center does need some work. It's fine. Um, I will do that later. Let's go first here. I've been really loving working on these pieces. Ooh, sometimes the paint doesn't drag how oh, I want it to. This is looking amazing, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oui. Yeah, these colors. Ooh. Okay, I will blow out a little bit of some of these leaves and then it's done. Then it's done. It's so beautiful, these colors. All right. Well, I do think the dragging here should have looked better. So I feel like dragging one more time through it. Um, so to make this fame gorgeous just like this one on the other hand i'm scared to you know mess it up i'm loving that it has some dark parts we hardly see any green just a little bit here 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 but that really fits okay so that's not better that's not looking better but overall happy with this painting Really happy. What's the, I think, composition like this or something. It would have been great if this went over the edge. You know what? I might I make that when I just pour a little bit of the white, white here. Maybe I can just slightly blow that over the edge so it's in balance, you know? Or shall I use the blow dryer for that? Because this is quite a big part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy. Okay. I'm gonna let it dry and bring you up for the dried close-ups. <laughs> 